What's going on everybody? Doc from Average Gamer Guys back yet again into some more Rocket League and for whatever reason I just can't not open some crates. <laughs> so today, oh man, so today we're going to open 100 crates. Don't know why. It's probably because I got the urge from watching other people open crates. So hopefully this satisfies your urge to open crates without actually making you want to go and open crates. But I am really hoping that we hit some really awesome items today. So we're going to crack open a uh, 100 impact crates. And we're also going to talk about the recent changes that they discussed on the a, a recent forum post uh, for the XP progression system. So without any further ado, this is going to be a little bit of a video. So hang in there. Hopefully you're having a great weekend or whatever day you are watching this. Hopefully it's just a good day or good night, and yeah, we're just going to chill and open some crates. But like I said, I got a little bit of background information I'm going to read through. I'm going to try to click through these as quick as I can, and we're hoping for a fire god. I think that's one of the only things, maybe some painted reapers as well, painted twins as always. Uh, that's what we're looking for. Beyond that, we could get a painted enchanter. I'd be cool with that. We're just going to open some crates. Like I said, I think I got the urge. We've got our crate opening series going on that's coming to an end uh, here in, in a week or so. Uh, so stay tuned to the channel for that on Friday. And then we're going to have a follow-up video. I've got most of the trading done for that. So I can really kind of round out. Again, I'm just going to spoil this a little bit. Opening crates is usually not worth it. <laughs> but if you like to gamble like I do and you like to get some of these awesome rare decals, uh, go ahead open some crates like I'm gonna do like I said hopefully you guys uh, welcome welcome to the channel if you're new if you're a longtime subscriber or just enjoy crate opening videos thanks for stopping by thanks for sticking around and thanks for just hanging with me and opening some crates like I said we're just gonna chill I do really want to talk about I actually want to talk about a couple of different subjects so we talked about the uh, upcoming updates to the XP progression system so we'll get into that I also want to talk about the Rocket Pass a little bit, a little bit more. Uh, I had a chance to talk with Sloth about it uh, just slightly, and you know, I think we had a really good discussion about it. And I'm honestly, let's start with that. I'm pretty excited for that. The more and more I start to think about it, the more and more I realize that. And there was some additional info that I think it was Psionics Devin uh, or Corey talked about in a reddit post actually answering some questions about it they talked about the fact that you know somebody compared it to fortnite now, i'm not a big fortnite player but i understand what fortnite's done with their season pass or their content pass or whatever it's called and how the fact is essentially once you buy into that if you play that game consistently enough and you don't even have to play it you don't even have to be that good you just have to play it quite a bit that you have the chance essentially from the first time that you earn one to not ever have to buy it again the rewards are set up to the fact that you can go from one buy the first one earn enough rewards to then open up the next one and consistently do that forever so you're really not paying for additional content to a certain extent you're paying for that content one time and then you're just being rewarded for playing the game. <coughs> Excuse me. I think that's a great idea. And somebody essentially in the forum post, and I'll see if I can link it down below, they brought up the fact that that's a great way to be able to do that. If you consider that, say they're going to do a couple of these passes. Why can't this be painted? Um, say they're going to do a couple of these rocket passes over the course of, uh, say the course over the year. Say they do one and it, maybe it lasts a couple months. I'm purely speculating here, but they do five or six. If you have to pay $10 or 10 keys, so keep in mind that they are bought with keys. They're not bought with dollars. From my understanding, you're going to have to buy the keys and then buy the rocket pass from there. That's important for discussion later on. But you have to spend this $10 essentially, and you could potentially spend $10 six times over the course of the year to get this additional content now granted you're getting additional content the argument would be that you already paid for this game and 
not very much unlike DLC because it's a little different because these are customizable customization items and in DLC you pay for that up front anyways but it's essentially kind of like a pay to play although you know it doesn't give you any specific advantage the long story short of this whole rambling is the fact that um, they, they compared it to Fortnite and said you could buy this pass the first time and never have to buy it again and you're just rewarded for playing the game and they discussed the fact that this is gonna work similarly because with the premium content you buy the pass you have the capability to then earn keys as part of the premium rewards how many not sure yet but let's assume it's five let's assume you could earn half of it and then you play consistently enough that you are rewarded some of the painted and certified painted and or certified items you know premium premium body premium wheels that not everybody has that then have trade value you can then trade those for keys between those two things you playing the game and doing a little bit of trading essentially makes it so that when the next rocket pass however long that is from the first one comes out that you would essentially be able to get enough keys to be able to purchase the next one I appreciate that logic I think that makes a lot of sense the fact that in the premium content they're giving you keys instead of just the cryptors is really smart because I actually want to open crates and be able to trade the items that are in it keys let you do a lot of other things especially on the PS4 switch and PC platform that's their currency period uh, you can trade items around all day and I'm sure there are items that people trade for other items and things like that but if you really want to pick something up you're purchasing and you're and you're trading for keys Xbox runs into a different situation there so somebody additionally brought up the fact that while that works on other platforms what about Xbox Xbox you cannot trade keys so if you're not familiar with the trading market you don't want to be familiar with the Xbox trading market but it, if you aren't you can't trade keys so everything revolves around a, a crazy system that essentially prices uh, black market decals and then that is used to determine you know the prices of other items and then really crates and more so than that black market decals are the, the defunct currency for Xbox and that's what everything revolves around interestingly enough they posted that somebody asked the question and said well that works for those other platforms that does not work on Xbox Xbox you're gonna pay the ten dollars I'm going to have to buy keys minus the ones that I earned through the past to be able to get the next one they did comment and this could throw a lot of the trading scene for the Xbox at least for a temporary time until it's adjusted into a pretty crazy fury with the fact that Xbox keys may become tradable and they're hopeful in the near future potentially even to the fact that it might happen before this game pass comes out now that's purely speculation I'm sure there's a lot of negotiations going on between Psyonix and Microsoft to be able to do that obviously it's against their terms of contract so they have to figure that whole thing out I won't speculate on that I think that would be interesting the base point for this whole thing though is that they have thought about the fact that they don't want people just spending ten dollars a couple of times a year or multiple times a year depending on how many of these they do in order to just get this content now granted there's gonna be free content that comes along so if you bought the game I, I guess I kinda of fall in the midline if you want that premium content you can have you have two options one you can trade for it if people get the items and want to trade them because from my understanding just about all of them will be tradable or you can pay for it and if you don't pay for it and you're upset that oh they're bringing out this content that only a select people that are paying for it have consider it kind of like a DLC but the fact that they understand that they want people to be able to purchase the first one and then essentially kind of earn their way to the next one I think is really really smart that's what they have to do that's what they need to do to be sustainable I also think it's interesting and we talked about this a little bit in the previous video that just talked this whole rocket pass in general the fact that you can see all of the items inside the rocket pass before you spend the money on it for the premium one is really smart it also rewards you whatever level you get to so again if you say 
aren't sure, maybe you're going on a long vacation or you're going to be in school or something like that where you don't think you're going to be able to play as much as you normally can to earn the rewards, you don't have to buy that premium pass. You can just wait. The free one is going to continue to rack up your rewards, whatever reward level you get to in that. If you then decide later, halfway through or a week before it's going to end, that, hey, you actually made it farther and you're going to be able to get a bunch of rewards, you just buy the premium pass and bam, you're just going to get all of that stuff that you would have earned if you would have bought it from the beginning. I think that's just absolutely brilliant, so smart, and a good way to do it. That's the way they have to do it. They have to be transparent with it because people aren't going to spend $10 just for the roll of the gamble. This is white, I think. This would be sweet if this was white. It looks white, but I've also been confused before, as you guys have know. <laughs> uh, I, this is one of those moments. We gotta look. I hate to do this. Uh, it's one of those moments, and I hope this game doesn't crash. It is white. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Nice. Very nice. We're going the wrong way. Look at this thing. Beautiful titanium white. That's the first. Honestly, that's the first good. Uh, even remotely good item that we've seen and we're 25 crates in so uh, hopefully this crate opening isn't a complete waste uh, again although these crate openings typically seem to be hopefully we can uh, change hopefully I can change my mind about this crate opening during this crate opening I just really like to open these crates you guys know that you've been around the channel long enough if you haven't welcome go back and watch all of our other crate openings this is just it's too much fun I, I love the gamble. I also love to be able to the chance to talk to you guys. That's what I want right there. Just go to the Fire God. Go to Fire God. I already have Streamline. Be happy with Fire God. That's all we want. That's all we want. Is that too much to ask? I don't think so. I don't think it's too much to ask. Anyways, talking about the Rocket Pass, I'll finish up what I was saying. I think it's good. I'm really excited to hear some more information about it as it gets closer to the release date. So they're still targeting sometime in summer. Summer goes on for the next two months or so. So we'll see how long that takes. My thought process is we'll probably, I'm hoping we'll have something by the beginning of August. That's just my gut feeling. They might surprise us with, with something sooner. I don't personally think so. I think we're gonna see it around the August time frame. It seems like they've got really the core foundation and a lot of it worked out, but it seems like there's still probably some either internal debate or some discussion about exactly what some of the reward tiers are going to be as well as the XP progression system so I want to talk about that a little bit probably a good segue to talk about changes to the XP their levels online matches and then wards that are coming with that so uh, this post will be down below I will link it uh, it came out a couple of days ago so we've had a little bit of time to digest it and I'm going to try to pay attention to, to reading this as well as watching my crates here, but they have a current progression system, if you guys don't know, that tops out at level 75. It's the coveted Rocketeer title. Each level inside that system requires significantly more XP and time, obviously, to earn from the last. The new progression system essentially is going to remove the level cap completely, so there is no more level cap. Oh, I was going to say, if that was painted, that'd be so sweet. There is no more level cap coming, and it's also going to flatten out the amount of XP you need to progress between levels. Now, I think they said that th that was going to occur around level 30-ish. That metric might change. Man, two of these in a row. This one can be painted. I'll take a white one of these. Did I just call that, or is this black? There's, there's white in it. It could be gray. It could be black. I don't know. Let's check it out. We're going to have to check it out. <laughs> I don't want to make this video any longer because we still have 60 crates to go. It's black. That is a cool boost in black, though. That is really sick. So we've got some pretty sweet boosts. we got black enchanter and a titanium white cirrus boost. Uh, that, the black one looked pretty sweet. I think we could do some cool stuff with that. Um, although I'm not a huge fan of the sound, but we can go from there. Um, Anyways, back to XP's levels and online matches. So, level caps being removed, flattening out the progress that it takes. So, essentially, uh, the levels, whether you're level 150 or level 72, those levels are all going to take the same amount of experience to progress. 
which is a really smart thing, especially the removing the level cap, you might as well. You're essentially going to tier top out at whatever the highest experience that you need between levels is, and we're going to go from there. So I think that's a smart move. The current XP and levels are going to translate. I, we keep getting certified Twinsers, and I just want a painted one from a crate, sincerely. But current level XP and level is going to translate to the new progression system. Every player who has essentially earned XP in Rocket League will have that XP automatically converted over to the new system once it's live later in the summer. So again, we got another later in the summer time frame for this, which I am actually pretty excited. They're still finalizing how they're going to convert all that and what additional details. So they can't really offer any additional details in that. But the the goal the goal for them post conversion is that you're going to be at or above your current level when the conversion takes place. So if you're level you know 73 right now, you're going to be very you're going to be at that or maybe a couple levels above. If you're level 75 and have played thousands of hours above that. They do address this that that time is going to qualify and quantify inside of that uh, for your next level. So if you're level 75 and capped out and you've been there for a while, they're taking into the fact the matches you've played, the time that you've played, and all those different things into the progression system and where your final level will be. So some people that maybe have had this game from the beginning have been leveling up and have thousands and thousands of hours you know, they're going to top out and they're going to be really high in the progression system when it comes out way, way above a level 75, which again is really smart. Uh, they also did talk about that in the new XP system, they're completely getting rid uh, of awarding XP in offline matches. So they really want to push this XP progression being in online matches, obviously both casual uh, and competitive, which is really good. And they want to tie that to the online matches and not the time not played in an online match that might suck for a small portion of people that really enjoy playing against the bots or really enjoy just doing like the seasons but i think that's a fair trade-off the only thing i would say that kind of stinks a little bit would be uh private matches i think those are on it's kind of weird where those will fall if the XP there will count or not. I don't think so. I could be wrong on that regard because it's technically an online match unless you're, so we'll see. But specific offline matches aren't going to count, which again, I don't really have a huge issue with and I think is really smart. And it makes it so they talk about that no player can game the system to earn you know, unnecessary levels. And that's important for the next part because they talk about level up rewards. So every time you level up in the new system, you're going to be earn, you're going to earn a random a random item of uncommon quality or better so there's in addition to that there's going to be no uh, no more random drops after matches so the only thing that you're going to essentially be able to drop after matches is crates which is actually really awesome in my opinion i think that's going to make crate drops hopefully the ratio be a little bit better you're not going to see random toppers or rares anymore after matches. You're going to get these when you level up, which is a good way to incentivize you wanting to level up. And I think a really good way to tie something to the levels. They also talk about that, of course, uh, you're going to still be able to use these items to trade up for higher content, rare rewards. Again, try to get your titanium white octane, try to get some of your painted boosts. Those kinds of things are still in place. They want the big thing with this and why they're changing when the rewards drop at least the the those uncommon non-crate items is because they want it to be more consistent and predictable which i can sincerely appreciate they are also going to have level based titles which will be unlocked at certain thresholds you're not going to lose any of your existing titles like your rocketeer or your legend so don't worry about that if you've already reached those milestones and again they're going to have titles and player banners well beyond level 100 to recognize those people that have a ton of time in this game and play a lot and rightfully so they should they talk about item slots and common items they're also changing up how common items are unlocked on your account in the current system you essentially earn one common unlock for every match you play until you've gotten everything in the new system you're gonna have to you're gonna unlock all of common item for a particular slot 
uh, when you reach enough matches played. For example, you'll unlock every common topper after 15 matches. This is really cool for new players. I think it makes it so that the beginning grind isn't so bad and they can actually enjoy playing up to that and then they get to a certain rank and they're going to have just a bunch of stuff unlock all at once which I think is really really neat and a great idea. This is not going to obviously change or affect anyone that already has all these common items so again for a good portion of us out there that have played the game for a while don't you don't even have to worry about this your items your common items are going to stay the same and you won't even see uh, any changes to that but again they got to think about the new players as well. We finish this up with talking about new experience mechanics. So the new XP updates are also going to bring some new bonuses that help you level up faster. This is going to include match completion, which you earn bonus XP for finishing matches and not quitting early, obviously. Consecutive matches earn bonus XP for staying in the same casual lobby for multiple matches. I'm hoping they're going to do something similar with the competitive, or maybe if you just queue games up one after another, that would be really smart. But casual lobby is okay too. I don't know. Ooh, cobalt. I don't think we have cobalt. I'm I'm trying to bounce back and forth between reading this and looking at this. These are, excuse me. These are definitely cobalt, and uh, those are pretty sweet. I don't know. Do I do I have these? I don't think I do. I think this is a color I need, which I'm super stoked for. The blue on these things is popping. That is awesome. It looks a little weird with my uh, painted twins are here and the dissolver. But uh, man, I do like the. I really like these wheels. I I want to. I want to hear what you guys think. I think these are some of the better, uh, very rare wheels we've had in a long time. I love the color on them. Again, they remind me a lot of Saptarishis with a little bit cooler design in the middle. Uh, I I like these. That's awesome. Super stoked for that. We've got a, about 45 or so left, so we've still got a ways to go. And I appreciate you if you're still sticking around because this is going to be a long video. But let's get back to this really quick and finish up reading through this so that we can I can kind of continue to talk to you guys. So again, we talk about match completion, consecutive matches. There's a backfill bonus as well, uh, which is going to be that you can earn bonus XP if you're matched into a game in progress and casual and then complete the game. So if you jump into the game a minute, minute late, for instance. Crimson, let's go. Let's go. Nice. I do already have a set of Crimson, but these things are fire, man. These are awesome. Nice. Let's get some more Painted Reapers. These are going to help me trade for the other colors I don't end up getting, so I'm super stoked for that. Nice. Now we can just we can hit a Painted Twinser. Good color. We hit Fire God. We'll be in the clear. But backfill bonus. Uh, really cool. Get into a casual match late. Finish out the match, which just promotes, again, people staying in the matches and playing. I think that's a great idea. And then you get weekly wins, and they said they're still finalizing the number on this, but if you get X amount of wins during the week, you're going to earn a bump of uh, extra XP. Great ideas, to be honest. All great ideas. Just really think about this from a perspective of getting people in, getting the lobbies filled up, getting people consistent on the game, and doing what a lot of other games, really this is not revolutionary for this, but doing a lot of what other games do with XP. Call of Duty, for instance. you got your XP, you've got your level ups, you can continue to level up in that game almost forever. You can prestige, you get items, you get all that kind of stuff. Very similar system here, a little bit different obviously, but the base premise is there and I really like that. Additionally, they've got a couple uh, FAQs here that we'll cover. Again, crate drops we talked about a little bit. Crates are going to continue to drop in the same way that they do now. These are sky blue. Let's go. Nice. Nice. Man, these are cool. These are cool. I like those. Sky blue is such a good color. Sky blue is uh, becoming one of my favorite colors. I really like the purple on the blue team as well. But sky blue is my now default color for this. And uh, these are pretty sweet. I think we're going to be able to do some cool stuff with these as well. Uh, if we can't find a good trade for them. Those are nice. I, They did a good job with these wheels, especially on the paint. Having the spokes be painted as well as the inside of it. And then I, I really do like the tread detail on them. They did a nice job on the Centros. I, I do like these wheels. And uh, we'll definitely take some sky blue ones. So pretty pumped about that. Nice. So far, so good. Pretty good back half of the crate opening. First 50 or so, we're kind of meh. But this back half has been pretty good. Again, if we can spike a BMD here, 
uh, we'd be in some pretty good business. So getting back to it, we, we always get keep, keep getting interrupted by good uh, good drops here. Can, crates can, can going to continue to drop after matches the same way they do random whatever their algorithm for that is, and then uh, you know again we talked a little bit about this. I covered it already, but the level cap if you've been capped at 75 for quite some time. Again, they're going to figure out a way to put uh, convert your matches played, your time, all that stuff uh, into the new system and, and essentially give you the XP that you would be earned or do an algorithm to give you some XP that you should have earned if you would have been in the new system for all the time that you've played. So really, really smart. That covers this again. I'll leave it down below. Uh, that way you can read it through without it being all chopped up from me talking about it. I'm excited about it. The progression system is what they need to do. I think they needed to put this in. I think they needed to figure out a way to make it rewarding to be able to play the game and earn something from the levels. That was probably one of my first complaints and the complaint I've had, which I haven't really cared too much about because it's just background at this point, but there was no reason to level up in this game besides a title. And half the time, if you've played this game for a long time, you reach level 75 and it doesn't matter anyways. So many people have that Rocketeer title just because they played this game a ton and it's been out for a long time that it almost was not pointless because it is kind of a cool thing to have, but it's essentially pointless to a certain extent because it's not rare. And the fact that now they're going to have something tiered out, man, a streamline would have been so sweet. I mean, I'll take Santa Fe's, but... Um, the fact that it's tiered out is really good and it's going to again reward those people that do have a lot of the time in the game and are at a high competitive level and all those different things. You combine this XP change system with this rocket pass and the free content and things that are coming with that. I mean it's a pretty good bundle. I expect we'll probably see these pretty close together as well. Again they talk about summer time frame for both of them. I expect, and I think it, it, it really lends to the whole base fact of getting people into the game and having people be consistent and stay with the game. I think they also talked about, you know, doing certain things in the in the Rocket Pass or maybe at some point doing like XP bonuses and things like that. Again, nothing crazy new, but definitely new for this game and what draws people into, you know, playing certain games on the weekends double XP comes up for Call of Duty and people are like hey well, I might as well go play I'm close to that you know fifth prestige or whatever the case is and they you know put in new weapons that you can pick up from uh, from challenges and things like that I, I just it makes sense they did talk about with the XP progression system how they're gonna do challenges they do have kind of an idea of wanting to do something where they can maybe fold that in but again they don't want people to just game the system and it's something that they just have to kind of figure out how it fits in and how it's best implemented that everybody can earn them and they can be challenging without people exploiting them and they talked about you know if you did a certain number of wins or you did a certain number of goals some people might just get in the game and just sit in the goal the whole time to be able to get the reward that's obviously not the point of it you want people to get in the game and just play the game and, and play the match like they're supposed to and just by playing they would get rewards and I think a lot of people would do that if it was a challenge but you, we all know that there would be some people that are out there atomizer again uh, I can't even be mad <laughs> but I just have to laugh at this and it's certified I wonder what the certification is if unless we gotta check it's it's probably poo poo goalkeeper of course goalkeeper on the goal explosion this is the second I'm not mad I'm gonna sound so <laughs> uh, I'm gonna sound so bad. There's gonna be some people that watch that out this out there that just hate me. But we have opened up a lot of these crates. This is now the second atomizer that we've pulled, and it's literally like the only old thing in the crate. I love the goal explosion. It's super cool. I'm happy to have. I'm happy to be able to get one. I really am. It's awesome. It just of all the stuff in the crate to get that would be the one black market that we opened twice not once but twice we did open a streamline so again I, I can't sound too spoiled here I just think that's hilarious I, this has been a good crate opening you, you throw that on there you throw some of the painted reapers we got some of the painted boosts a bunch of painted decals the painted decals are just crazy it feels like this crate or whatever they've done have increased the rates for that 
That's just too funny, though. Um, I would have... And it's going to troll me now, too. See? That's what I want. I would have taken another streamline easily. Uh, just because it would have been... It probably would have been a little bit easier to trade that than the atomizer into something. I'll take the juiced as well, just because I think it's funny and I don't have one. It's just so funny. It's so ironic that we would pull both of those uh, in these crate openings. But, again... The back half of these crates has been pretty good. Cobalt Reapers, Crimson Reapers, and the Atomizer is really, really solid. We've gotten a bunch of Twinsers with some certifications on them. We'll see what those end up being. Like I said, if I could spike, we've got about 25 or so left. If I could spike another Black Market, that'd be huge. If I could spike a Painted Twinser, also would be pretty huge. But as you can see, we've got plenty of decals if you've been following along, keeping a tally. Got plenty of decals to do some trade ups, so maybe we can spike. A, uh, a painted Twinser from that I'd be pretty pretty stoked about it I really do I'm really still waiting for the update I'm hoping we're just gonna get a general update soon with just bug fixes I know we're talking a lot about XP changes progression where the game is going which I'm super uh, you guys know I'm a huge fan of that keep the content consistent talk to us about it let us know what's coming you don't have to put a specific time frame on it you can just say, hey, this is what we're working on. We're going to get there, and we think it's going to be within this time frame. I am totally good with that. As far as the game progressing and continuing to grow and, and change and you know be rewarding to, to, to be somebody that plays it consistently. But, uh, I mean, I love that. I do want a update, though, that just addresses what this, what this most recent update brought. It brought a lot of really good stuff. I'm not going to complain about that. There's been multiple times still, and I'm sure I'm not the only one dealing with it out there, but I get in my inventory, go into a trade, or even now after games, I'm just having these like fatal errors where the game is just crashing and needing to reboot. Me and Sloth were playing some, uh, just some private matches the other day, and people, I think we both got booted at one point, for just being in the game. I mean, it was mid-game, just crashed. I had that happen a couple of times, playing some competitive. Game just crashes, and then I can't get back into the match, which is super frustrating. I take the couple-minute penalty. It's just that kind of stuff has to get fixed. They have to be able to fix the trading glitches as well. Whether they want to acknowledge it or care about it or not, they understand that trading and the customization is a huge part of this game. There's a, a huge market that revolves around it, People spend actual real money to get keys and to buy items and things like that. They've got to accept that, and I think they've got to focus on the ability to change and fix those issues that are there. So I'm just hoping soon we're going to get some kind of bug fix update. I also, with that, and my whole original point going back was I want some of these painted Twinsers because when they update this thing and they paint the front of that car, that thing is going to be sick. I love the Twinser. I've been playing with it ever since it came out, and I was able to get my hands on one. I, I really like it. I think it handles great. I'm super used to It's obviously an Octane hitbox, but I'm used to the hitbox, and I just like it. I also really like the way it looks. So we could uh, finish off this with a, a Fire God and a Painted Twinser, and I'd, I'd be set. I'd be happy about this great, great opening. I'm not mad, though. So we've got 13 left. I know I have 16. I think I've got... I had a 103 and I have exactly 100 keys. So, pretty good. Hopefully this, oh stop, come on. It is teasing the crap out of me, guys. It knows I want it, that's what it's doing. Maybe the second to last crate, I'll, I'll spike it. That'd be pretty cool. Or it's gonna, it's gonna force me into using some of my decryptors on a few of these items and then I'm gonna end up getting, which I would be okay with. I would be okay with that game. See, there it is again, man. And there's juiced. The two things I want. Can't get lucky every time, that's for sure. But, like I said, happy we could be able to do this. Happy, thank you guys. We're 30 some minutes into this. I really do, really do appreciate the support to the channel. If you've stuck it out this long and you just enjoyed hanging with me, thank you so much. Let me know how your day is going, or if you're watching this on the weekend, let me know how your weekend's going. Let me know what you're excited for out of the Rocket Pass or out of the XP progression system. If you're a newer player, I'm really curious. I think you'll really enjoy the XP progression system because it's going to be pretty cool. That's one thing I forgot to talk about. They did talk about too that those tiered rewards, once they switch the system, 
I believe they're going to be rewarding everybody with everything that they've already received up to that point. So I think there's going to be some folks that, again, are going to hit quite a few levels and they're going to be able to rack up some items. Whether that's just like the titles and things like that, I'm not 100% sure on, or if they're going to throw the uncommon items uh, at everybody as well. We'll just have to wait and see on that. But regardless, titles and banners, again, if you are above 75, or if they introduce anything in between 75 and below, uh, you know, I, I think we'll see some of that as well. So that's going to be pretty cool, uh, and I'm pretty excited about that. Let's see here. Can we finish this off? We've got seven left. Again, I, I'm really excited for the future of this game. I, I've clearly invested. I've invested a lot of time to try to be not terrible. That's the best way I can say to describe that because I'm not good by any means. I'm just not terrible. And uh, and I, I've invested, obviously, uh, a, some currency into this to be able to open these crates, to have a, an inventory, be able to trade, and enjoy that aspect of the game. I just want this game to continue to succeed. Are these painted? It's so hard to tell. We got sky blue the one time, and I just could not tell the difference from the regular ones. No, these are these are the regular, which is okay. The regular ones actually look pretty cool. I, I don't know which ones of the two wheels I like better. I think I like the Centro wheels painted better. I think I like the regular Santa Fe's better than the regular Centros, though. These are pink. So we're going to finish it off with some pink Masatos. These wheels have not gotten like much love at all. They're not a terrible wheel. I just think people... The problem is, is people like the Reapers way better. In this one instance, it's so weird. You have the two wheels at the very rare slot. I think if the Reapers would have been at the import and the Masados would have been at the very rare, they actually might have got a little bit more love. And we're going to continue to get Centros. Central wheels have been the one... I have opened more Centro wheels in these crates than I've ever opened another exotic wheel in another crate, which is just absolutely crazy. I, I ended up with, I think, nine pairs. That might be my 10th or 11th pair of Centros out of all of the crates. And we've opened a lot of these, but of all the crates we've opened, which is just insane. Painted certified decals here. What do we got? We got two left. So this is the one. If this is going to be Fire God, this is it. Right here, folks. Hold your breath. Cross your fingers. Cross your toes. Nope. It's going to be Sunday which is just a great decal it's just so good it's not i hate this decal it's always painted though why is it always painted so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna use our decryptors i think we've got nine i don't ever use my decryptors but i don't want to sit on three crates i don't know why i have three extra anyways what do we got what do we got windswept why couldn't you go to the streamline <sighs> frustrating it's not good crate opening really really happy let's go ahead and uh, let's just crack these decryptors there's this myth out there that the decryptors are just the values on them or what you get is just so much better because you can't ever trade it again so let's see let's see if we get anything other than three rare decals so far we are zero for three or one for three if you're counting rare decals that was certified I don't ever use these I don't know that I've used maybe like two decryptors in the past I'm not sure I just don't use these. Some of you guys out there use them to open these crates. More power to you. That's awesome. Here we go. We're going to get a second decal. Yep. So we're two for three. Last one. Here we go. Last crate. Let's get a banger. Fire God. Let's go. Or juiced. I'll take them. Either one. Either one. Either one. Come on, baby. Big money. Big money. Big money. Migraine banner. So we didn't get three rare decals, but we got pretty close. <laughs> so I can't say that myth is busted. The uh, the sample size is just not big enough for you scientists out there. So we're going to go, of course. <laughs> you guys know what we're going to do. We're going to do our trade-ups. <laughs> so we've got a billion of these rare decals. And your boy wants some painted twinses. We, uh, we did pretty good, though. Honestly, not a bad crate opening at all. Let's see. Let's get down to the let's get down to the the meat and potatoes here. We finished up. I just traded for that. So, yeah, not nothing super great through here. We did get a striker one of these, which is cool, I guess. We did get this titanium white series, which is just solid. That's a solid boost. 
We got uh, we got a black enchanter, which actually looks really cool. Big fan of that sweeper. One of these. A show off enchanter. We got these cobalt and crimson. These these are just solid wheels. Super super stoked about the cobalt because they didn't have them already. So we're gonna favorite those bad boys. And then crimson, beautiful wheels, beautiful. Then we then we spike these sky blue centros. Not too far after the crimson reapers. So again, the back half of this this crate opening was awesome. So if you're just like jumped into this and missed me rambling for the last 40 minutes, this is just the overview of what we ended up snagging. We got a playmaker, one of those, nothing too great. And then of course we did get the atomizer goalkeeper goal explosion, which is really solid. I'm super stoked for that. Again, wish it would have been maybe something a little different, but happy to get a black market out of this out of this crate opening, 100%. Picked up a titanium white diamond as GT stared. Some some people out there might want that. This guy blew one of those. And then pink Masados, that was really it. I think we got a painted burnout banner uh, in here. Yeah, we got a saffron one. So not not super, super outstanding for 103 crates, but not uh, not too bad either. So we're gonna have to watch out for these three. Can I favorite these? Yeah, let's favorite those so that I can't see them. And then let's start doing some trade-ups here. And you know what we're going to do? We're just going to click through everything and hopefully not trade up anything good. Painted. Ooh, that might be cobalt. That's pretty cool. Nice. Let's see what else we got here. We'll get rid of these. The fact that these are all just... We got three of those. Certified Acrobat Masatos. Again, I got to be careful with those. What is that? Sky blue. We got two of these. It's hard to click through some of this stuff sometimes just because I don't want to accidentally trade up something that's decent. You know, again, with these trade-ups, I would I would not mind uh, Rocket League some... Uh, I would not mind a uh, couple more Painted Reapers. There we go. What is that? Burnt Sienna. Definitely not a great color, but honestly, I... I People really like these wheels, so we'll be able to do something with that. Again, probably throw it into a trade to snag up another color that we don't have. We're pretty close to the uh, the set at this point, I think. Actually, we're just missing a couple of colors. We need like the off colors, like the limes and things like that, I think. Lime, saffron, but I'm happy with that. I, we can keep those We can keep those rolling, absolutely. Let's see what we got here. We'll do one of those standard ones we're gonna have plenty of very rare to import trade-ups which i'm also very excited about uh paragon saffron i don't think i care about that oh is this player tradable okay this is the one we want to keep i think i don't know that we care about the rest of these playmaker maybe we keep the forest green one i don't know Let's try to click through these as quick as we can go here Trying to be just a little selective. Like Crimson, who's getting even use this? Nobody is the answer. I'm sorry if you're a Roadhog user out there and I'm just like completely pooping on the, I'm just completely pooping on the fact of that uh, decal, but I just don't see anybody using it. I don't see anybody really using the, <laughs> really using that car either. Hate to say that. Sorry if you do. If you do, more power to you. You know what? You do you. More power to you. Don't let whatever I'm saying ruin you. That's purple. We're going to have the whole set of those. We already had quite a few of the colors. I feel like we've got a lot more decals. And I could be wrong here. We definitely do not have a lot more decals. So what do we want to try to keep here? We don't care about this. This is going to be it, actually. So, we want to keep that gray. I don't think we care about the striker one of these. I think that's it. Score, it's not, yeah, mm hmm, mm hmm. Do we care about this? We want to keep one of these instead? Oh, I think that's it. Wait, one, two, three, four. Mm. Nope, this is going to be it. Let's see what we get. Burnout banner. All right. We are on to the very rare trade-ups. Let's see how many of these we got. We're gonna do pretty good in this regard. We wanna hang on to those. 
We also want to hang on to, okay, I did mark that off. So we want to hang on to those. Those are playmakers, so they're pretty good. I don't think we care about the acrobat. All right, painted twinsers. Here's what we're going for. Let's go, baby. Certified. I mean, I'll take anything painted at this point. What am I doing? Let's go, painted twinser, baby. Another, what? Come on, game. Come on. This is just, this game is trying to laugh at me right now is what it's doing. Do we want to keep the, the playmaker one? I think we do. I don't know that we care about these or these. Come on. Certified, man. This game, this is, it's teasing me right now is what it's doing. It's saying, we know you want this. We know you want this certain thing. I think we can get rid of the, oh, we got a regular one. We don't have much left of these either. Jeez. We are striking out on the trade-ups right now. We got one decent painted wheel. And that is it. All right. Uh, do we want any of these banners? We can't trade that up. I don't. I don't actually care about keeping any of these. We obviously have to keep our good ones. I've got Playmaker now. What did I have of the regular ones? Victor. Is there anything I care about less than Goalkeeper Cert Reapers? I don't think so. This is gonna be it. This is the last, this is our last chance for Painted Twins are here. Let's see how we do. Cross your fingers, cross your toes. A regular serious boost, wow. Okay. Uh, well, we got quite a few of these to work with, I guess. Let's see, uh, let's see if we can get some painted wheels, maybe. Nope, regular Santa Fe's. I don't know if I care about the goalkeeper one of these. Don't care about the regular one of those. I don't care about the goalkeeper. Oh, that's black. We don't want to accidentally trade that up, so. Uh, we got a score one of this. I think I'd rather just keep the Twinser because I'll be able to at least trade the Twinsers, I think. We'll keep the Striker and the Playmaker. Uh, actually, we don't care about the Playmaker one of these. I think this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Again, appreciate you hanging out with me. Long, long video. Certified Centro Wheels. <laughs> Uh, to finish it off, I don't think, again, I don't think besides these we've got anything else. That's black, that's titanium white, that's striker. These are all painted. Well, there we go. So that, that wraps it up. You can see our haul here again. Uh, not super crazy, nothing super great, but a couple of cool items. Again, titanium white Cirrus, some painted wheels up in here, a goalkeeper atomizer, and, uh, and just a couple of painted wheels out of a 100 impact crate opening. So, again, not worth it. Stay tuned. Next week, we'll finish up the 30 crate opening, and then we'll follow that up. It probably won't even be a full week beyond that, but we're going to follow that up with the trade-ups and kind of where we got for the value. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you enjoyed my discussion, at least, or at least my thoughts talking through the XP changes and progression system as well as the, the rocket pass a little bit more. If you want some more details, we do have another video up talking through the specifics of the rocket pass. Read the forum post there, so go check that out. Again, if you're if you're just enjoying the crate openings, let me know. Throw a like on the video. We'll do more of these for sure. Not sure what crate what other crates we would open up. Maybe we'll go back to some beach blasts. I'm not sure. But hopefully you guys enjoy it. Thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart. Doc from Average Gamer, guys. Appreciate the support. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Helps out the channel. Hit that like button. If you're a longtime subscriber and viewer, just thank you. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day, weekend, whatever you guys are doing. Enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, just thanks. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.